but it is a little crisp, yeah. so maybe throw on a sweatshirt as you you're go. heading out to get on your scooter. A pretty picture, though, through our airport sky cam, pointed back toward downtown. Now, maybe you've been noticing a little bit of life. Maybe some green is starting to pop up through your mulch. Uh, it won't be long before everything in those trees will be nice and leafed out. But not today. It is crisp. 39 here in Des Moines. At least the wind is calm, so it's actually very pleasant to be outdoors if you've got a light jacket. A big improvement over yesterday's kind of gloomy and soggy weather. We hold on to the sunshine for a couple more hours and the clouds are going to be rolling in and highs today will be right where they should be in the 40s to near 50 degrees. We stay dry until about 6 o'clock. Northwest Iowa will be dealing with the rain first, then it moves into central Iowa this evening and it will be a cool rain, but it should be coming to an end by midnight. Right now, checking out the radar, you can see the clouds on the increase across western Iowa. This is not reaching the ground up across the northwestern counties, but what is? Yeah, it's knocking on the door, coming in from Nebraska, moving to the east, light rain showers. So still a couple of hours away from our western counties. Taking you hour by hour now, by 4 o'clock near Carroll, up through Spencer, back through Council Bluffs and Sioux City, they'll be getting those very light rain showers. And it will be all liquid as temperatures will be warming into the 40s. We'll have a light south wind kicking in this afternoon. The showers move closer toward the I-35 corridor here by 6 o'clock. So for some of you, the evening commute may be a little bit on the wet side. It should, shouldn't be slowing things down too much here in the metro. By 9 p.m., light showers right along I-80 here and up to the north. That rain moves out shortly after midnight. So the roads should be dry for the Wednesday morning commute. And temperatures start out above freezing for most of us. Up to the north, it will be colder, but warms up really quickly. Tomorrow afternoon, highs get back into the 50s to near 60 degrees. That's where we like it. And then a little bit more rain comes in on Thursday, so we've got a very active weather pattern setting up here. Rain tracker showing it's going to be very light rain, too. About a tenth of an inch or less will be very common across the northern half of the state. But fog could be an issue. Once the rain moves out, after, right around midnight or so, we'll have the fog developing, and that will likely slow down that Wednesday morning commute. Here's your eight-day forecast. We get rid of the fog by midday Wednesday. Headed for a gorgeous one with sunshine and highs near 60. Here comes some rain on Thursday, a brief break Friday, but on Saturday it could be cold enough for some of that rain to switch over to a little snow.